Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Gaming Flow. And in this video we're going to talk about how to fix F1 Manager 23 controller is not working issue and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one when you're having this issue, all you have to do is we just need to go over here in the start, click on this one, click on this one and we have to go for the restart. So do a simple restart. This is what you have to do as the first step. Because for many of the users when they do with the restart, sometimes a simple issue can be fixed by the restart. So you can try with the restart and you can go ahead. If restart is not working, do not panic. We can move to the next step. Next step is all about we have to disable and enable steam input. For disabling and enabling the steam input, first we have to go over here in the game. Right click over here and go to the properties. Go to controller. And now as you can see over here this will be like by default in use default setting so first thing you can either keep to enabled steam input and launch the game if enabled steam input is not working we can change this to disabled steam input so you can either go for enabled steam input and also you can go for disabled steam input you can keep any one of the thing so if you're on the enabled steam input once you keep the enabled steam input and try launch the game if enabled steam input is not working we can move to the disabled steam input and we can try launch the game so either the thing will be completely working fine so if that is not working we have to move to the next step next step is nothing but we have to disconnect all other peripherals such as mouse joystick logitech pads wheels etc which is already connected remove everything from the usb port once you removing remove everything from the usb port once after that try launch the game click on the play button and try launch the game once game successfully launched, just connect back the controllers and continue playing the game and it will be working fine. And it worked for many users in the past, so we can try this over as well. Next one is all about, we can try with launch game in the big picture mode. And I have to say this, this particular step did work for many users down the road, so we can try this for even for this game as well. For launching the game uh, in the big picture mode, we just need to go over here at the top. If you go over here, you can see the big picture mode. Just click on this one. And right now, as you can see, you are taken to the big picture mode. And once you land in the big picture mode and you can see this, you have to go over here. So uh, you can go to the game, just select the game. And from here, there is an option to play. So you can launch the game and you can play the game. And it worked for many users, so you can try this out as well. Once you go after there, you have to, once you're done with this, you just need to go back. So in order to exit the big picture mode, just go over here in the menu, go to the power and there is an option called exit big picture mode. So just go to the exit big picture mode. And once you're done with the exit big picture mode, just go back to the library and go to the game and try continue the next step. The next step is nothing but we have to turn off the steam overlay. For turning off the steam overlay, we have to go over here in the game. Right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here make sure if this is turned on, you have to turn this off. So this is a very important step, you have to turn this off. Once you turn this off, you have to launch the game and that is what you have to do. Once you're done with this one, you have to go back and try trying with one more step. That is all about, you have to always use wired controllers. If you're depending on the wireless, you will be all the times having down the road issue with the controllers. So you always use wired controllers. Once you're done with this one, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to use Xbox controller. For using the Xbox controller, what we need to do is we just need to update the controller. So just go over here in the store, go to the Microsoft store. If you're on the Microsoft store, just go to the store. And once you go to the store, you have to search for install Xbox accessories. So just go over here, search for Xbox accessories in the Microsoft store. And over here, you will be getting the Xbox accessories. So if it is not installed on your PC, try downloading this and installing. And if it's if it's there, you can open this and update the controller. And after you updating the controller, just close this and go back to the game and try launch the game. Most probably when you try this, the issue regarding this particular controller is not working or it's not detected issue will be completely fixed. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.